obviously uh, Boyd is as good as anyone that, that we've seen from a route running standpoint, ability to go get the ball, snatch the ball out of the air. You know, if the ball's in the air, uh, he believes it's his, and most of the time it is. Uh, and then they, they have some other receivers. Um, you know, 19 is a guy's averaging uh, 24 yards a catch in that regard, so you can't you can't fall asleep. So they're, they're, I mean, they're a solid team. They're a big physical team, good tight ends, all lines physical. A lot of them, three starters coming back, I think. Uh, four of the guys played quite a bit, you know, last year against us. Tight ends are good, so I can't say enough about uh, how impressive they are from a, you know, just from a, being a physical football team. And I want, I want to ask you, I'm sorry about Quan. Um, you know, where is he in his development? You know, and, and where does he, where, where, what type of steps does he need to, to take? You know, while he's in college to, to really, you know, reach the next level. Well, it's only his first. I mean, what, what is it? His seventh start. Mm -hmm. I mean, so. You know, I mean, think about some of the, think about some of the great players that have come through here, and then count how many starts they had before you know before they left. You know what I mean? So, I mean, he's got uh, seven starts. You know, who's, who you know who doesn't need more than seven starts? You know, you need to you need to have in the thirties. I mean, if you want to be a really truly great player that um, you know leaves here with accolades and, and is able to you know be in high regard at the next level, I think I think you need to do it for quite a while. You know, so he's done a good job. He's had a good year and he's continuing to improve, but. Uh, I think he understands he's got he's got quite a ways to go. Besides time, what's one thing specifically you know that you would like to see added to his game? I don't know. I mean, again, I think I think all of his game right now. I don't think he's a he's a finished product by any means. Like I said, he started seven games and he missed the 13. Mm -hmm. So let's <laughs> you know what I mean. He missed 13 in the middle. So I think uh, yeah, every every fa every part of his game he knows he needs to uh, improve on. But he's a hard worker. He invests hard every week. He, he you know he studies tape. He he does the things that he has to do to go play well. So he's been he's been pretty consistent with that since since he's got an opportunity to start. So to me that's it. You know, you just gotta keep, you know, and all the players. I mean at the end of the day, there's only one way to do it. There's only one way to continue to improve, and that's you know, work hard on the field and, and study the game off the field. I mean there's no shortcut. What have you seen from him in, in terms of the maturation process, just mentally and, and just Yeah, just just that. Just just really uh, you know, stay, staying disciplined with the process, you know, reinvesting weekly. Um, you know, every opponent's different. Every every team runs different plays. Um, you know, the Georgia Tech option was totally different than what Pitt's going to be, and it's totally different than what North Carolina did. So, I think that's what that's what our guys have to learn. Um, you know, the the, the the pro game at the next level is, is a little more consistent. You know, most teams run a pro style offense. You have some teams that are mobile quarterbacks. Here at this level, they can see a pro style team, they can see a spread team, and then they can see a triple option team. So, um, it's really about refocusing and, and learning the details of every week as far as what you have to do to execute and play well. So I thought he did a nice job with that, going to the option last week. And now, now he's now he's got to train himself and get himself back. And again, that's every every one of our players. They got to get themselves back into playing conventional, you know, conventional offense and some and some different techniques. They're going to see more than, you know, down block or, or loop block every play like they saw last week. It's going to be different. You know, there's going to be more looks. There's going to be more things to do. So, what, just have to reinvest themselves. That's all we talked about. Just got to reinvest and, and, and treat it like you're learning it from day one. That's every week. Don't get bored with the details. Take great notes. Have extra film study. Um, if you're not watching film on your own, you're not trying hard enough. You know, if you're not taking notes in the meetings, you're not trying hard enough. I mean, those those are the, those are the same messages that we've, we've told the guys forever. So we'll, we'll continue to be consistent with that. Mark, going back to Tyler, uh, based on him, with your defense, with your corners, do you plan on having like one guy already shadow him, or is it just kind of wherever he shows up on the field? Yeah, but, I'm not going <laughs> 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 to. Can you write that down for us? Yeah. 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 Hey Mark, um, I don't know how you can quantify it, but is there a player from game one to, to now that maybe has improved the most, or a few players that have improved the most out of the whole defense? Mm -hmm. Kamalu, I think, has had a really good year. You know, Quan is a guy that's 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 done nice nice job and improved. But Kamalu is a guy that uh, that really stands out as far as uh, really playing well. I think down the stretch, game in game out, um, again working really hard. You know, spends a lot of time in, in film study. Spends a lot of time asking questions. Spends a lot of time getting involved in the details of each week, and I think that's the stuff that that's why they're playing well. You know, the talent's not enough. You know, if, you, if you go ahead and you invest each week and you put the time in, um, good things are going to happen for you on game day, and that's what's happening for him. What'd you think of that play? The Kamalu you know, play. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. Uh, we've been trying to we've been trying to score on defense all year, and uh, I thought, but you got you really got a chance to see his athleticism, and, and, he's, and for a big guy, 295 pounds, he can certainly run. You can see that. Uh, I didn't know the I didn't know that the uh, 
the uh, stiff, stiff arm was going to show up. I didn't know that. I didn't know he had that in his repertoire. So that was, that was, <laughs> that was, that was fun. You talk about ripping off violently. So <laughs> yes, he kind of did that. Yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome. That came out of that came out of nowhere. But uh, you know, it's funny. It's funny how that happens. You know, sometimes you see like a, you know, on an interception, you see an offensive guy chase the ball and then go punch it out, right? And you're trying to get a defensive guy to do that for four years, and he doesn't do it, right? On the other side of the ball, they're they're dying for somebody to throw the stiff arm, and then all of a sudden the defensive player goes and does it. So that's just the way that's just the way it goes. But that was fun. Mark, can, can you assess um, uh, Artie Burns? game and how he's developed and where he is right now, just like he did on. Yeah, I, I think another guy that uh, Artie's, Artie's really, you know, aside from obviously the, the, the tragedy that happened personally, I mean, he was, he was committed each week to getting better, uh, committed to doing the things that he had to do from a treatment standpoint, you know, making sure his body was ready each week to play at a high level. And then when he touches the field, he's extremely competitive. Uh, what I think he's done since that time has been really remarkable, to be honest with you. He was, he was in that mode, and to continue to do the things that he does just speaks volumes about him um, and who he is. I can't say, I can't say enough, really, about, about that. And uh, he's really developed the process as well as far as you know, preparation, film study, taking care of his body, and then coming on the field and, and working his craft and competing every day. It's really been, really been fun to watch. Is there a point where you say, you know what, this guy, this guy could be ready? For the next level, no matter how old they are, I, somebody I, like Artie. Yeah, I, th I, I think the biggest thing is, you know, they're all going to be better. I just, I, I just tell them, the, I ask the question, are you, are, do you think how much better are you going to be one year from now? And, and if you are, in my opinion, you know, everybody's got to do what they got to do. But in my opinion, you're selling yourself short. If, you, if you're not, if you're thinking you're going to be a lot better in a year from now, then why would you sell yourself short? You know, and that's just, that's just not about him. That's just, that's just my philosophy in, in general with, with guys when you're talking about that. How much you take into account their circumstances? Every, that's why I say everybody's different. It's all personal and okay. whoever's, you know what I mean? But I've said from, a, from a standpoint of, um, you know, just development and, you know, an opportunity, um, I think, um, you know, the longer they do this in college, the better they're going to be at the end of the day. And if, you know, so I just wouldn't want to see anybody sell themselves short when they could, you know, they could certainly maximize maximize it on the back end, get a degree, uh, do all those things that are, that are important. You know what I mean? You can, you can do all that, and that's going to be there for them. And again, that's, that's just in general, and that's just my, my, my advice when I, when I talk to guys about it. In your coaching Mario. career, has there been an example of someone that you felt like he's ready early, earlier than what you just said? Has there been an exception that you can think of? Yeah. Um, I had Muhammad Wilkerson at Temple, and, and uh, he was the 30th pick with the Jets, and they, they pretty much said he's going to be a first rounder. I think if anybody tells you you're going to be a first rounder, and, and it's, and, and, you know, when I mean when I mean that, I mean an advisory board or, or a general manager. I don't, mean, you know, somebody, well, you know, somebody else <laughs> who just helps, you know. But I think if, if a guy gets if a guy gets that kind of information, then then to me it's, you know, then then it, then it, then it could be time. You know what I mean? Because then, again, then you're not in a position. It's hard to it's hard to better your position than than being able to do that. You know, if a guy's being told he's, uh, you know, he's a mid rounder, and you say, well, how much better are you going to be next year? Think about where you, where you know where you could be. So I think I think it's important that they just trust the process. Anybody, you know, they trust the process and they they utilize what what everybody has in place here. They utilize the advisory board. They utilize the, the feedback uh, before they make decisions. I know you're not the advisory board or a GM or anything, but just looking at this defense in your eyes, a number like how many guys do you think are potentially you know pro guys on this defense? I don't know. I haven't. I, you know, I have to sit here and go through through each guy, but um, you know. You know, we have some guys, and again, that'll be up to. Uh, but guys with a chance. You know? Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to spend some time yeah, sitting down. Pretty there, you know, top of my head, I haven't really been. Right now, I'm trying to think about us winning nine games. And uh, right, guys, how about on Pitts? How about on Pitts' offense? That's, 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 more, that's, more, that's more important. I'm trying to win eight, and yeah. you can't you can't win nine unless you win eight first. So that's what we're trying to do. Any a quick one for Thanksgiving? What, what do you? This is a slam dunk here. What, what are you thankful for? Uh, thankful for the team that this year and the, and the staff and everybody sticking together. Um, obviously, the, the, you know, the coaches, the coaches, and, and the coaches' families, and, and uh, you know, everybody just uh, continuing to rally and stick together and do, do what's best right now for you know for our players. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. All right.